a bunch of snippets to me. And, I can uh, I can dig that angle because uh, a couple of the songs that I was really digging and went off and then moved on to the next song. I mean, I still dug the next song too, but I was still kind of wanting yeah. more. Yeah, I liked everything yeah. that I heard really, but it was just like it just sounded just like it. So let's talk about Schoolboy Q. Let's uh, talk who just about released him. Blue Lips, his album. I don't know if everybody heard it or not. I got a chance to run through it. Loan was talking about how the records are a little short. Yeah. Uh, he put some effort into this mug, though. It's some, it sounded good. Yeah, from, some heat. From what I heard, it sounded good. It's just it, the records are a little short. Yeah, but he there's a there's a, a post on his Instagram page where he really talks about how well he was rapping and how he really had his album done. It was probably it'd been done for years, is what he said. And he went to talking about the algorithm and how he fits into the circus of today's music. Mm -hmm. And which I actually agree with, because it, at this point, it's about a circus and the algorithm. But there's a long paragraph. I'm going to try to read some of this because, you know, the way he quotes everything and does the capitalization. Y'all from me being throwing him off. Man, they throw me off like crazy. <laughs> but we're going to get through it, though. And y'all count every time I, uh, you know, pause. Do your best. <laughs> You can do it. But he said, it's early, but this is how I'm feeling today. It could change. I mean, bro, y'all never heard me rap like this. Album been done for years, to be real. I just didn't know where it would fit in this circus and just BS and the algorithm. So I made my bed, chose art. I'm too good to let my talent go to waste over a viral moment. I'm 37, still hungry. Honestly, I don't think nobody can F with me, to be real. I always find new pockets, and I've been nervous before, but never scared. I'm one of them ones, which he actually is. Easy. Let's see. Let's see, I made this album for artists thinking people don't want dope ish anymore. Stayed away from the interviews on purpose coming into this album and just kept it music. I got interviews lined up now to go more in depth. But yeah, ignore the circus because it's getting weird. Music needs to be music. Music needs effort. Blue lips. Okay. I agree with everything he said. I like the vibe that he's in. We said vibe last week. Try. But it sounds like he actually cares about the product. He's not getting caught into anything other than the product at his age. To that, y'all say what? I kind of think he's always been in that personally from like his albums that right. have been released in the past. Right. And this doesn't sound too far from anything else that he's already dropped. In my personal opinion, mm -hmm. it kind of fits the schoolboy Q uh, vibe. I mean, it should because it's schoolboy Q. Yeah. Talon's point it is short i was listening to it and then all of a sudden something else came on and i wasn't expecting the album to be over right trust is had like damn near 20 tracks i think all right something like that but it was good to me it was really good no nah, for sure based on what i heard and uh it made me appreciate schoolboy q and tde once again no i think this I'm is this is a solid effort on his on his behalf uh one of the things that uh, you know it is a bit jarring when you see the amount of tracks and then, like I said, you it's almost fitting into, I mean, I know he says he's not doing the circus and the weird-ish, but he's almost did, done an album for this generation and their short attention spans. Kind of you know, going, that's, going that's with fair. the algorithm that's that he yeah. said he didn't want to go with in you know, that sense. Yeah. In, that, in that sense, um, which I don't fault him for because, you know, there's a lot of people who just aren't, they don't, you get to, they don't want to hear the third verse on anything. Mm -hmm. Um so I I think also we are reaching a certain generation of artists who are going to have to either adjust or just say, you know, forget it. I'm not going uh, this route that that seems to be what everyone else is going to do. Right. You know, um, there's there's certainly on like a, a line of demarcation. For, I don't know what the age or what the age of, you know, or how long someone's been doing it to where they've got to figure out, OK, either I'm just going to go ahead and do. For lack of a better term, I know y'all get tired of us talking about Killer Mike, but do what Killer Mike did right. and just create the best rap album possible, you know, spend his own money, put it up and just say, OK, Marketplace, this is what it is. Come get it if you want it. If you don't get it, then that's that's honestly your problem, not mine. So I think that's that's where a lot of artists are. You know, you are especially when you're used to selling something. You know, I bought the the. Which 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 without had Man of the Year because I just love that record. Blank face, blank face. Yeah, I bought that CD. You know, so that's how long Schoolboy Q has been doing this to where he was actually be able to sell things in the store. Yeah, you know, and yeah. I think there are a lot of artists who have to adjust to the fact that like, okay, we don't even sell anything anymore. You know, I saw I can't remember I, I saw it's maybe it's an old quote and I've been seeing it's an artist it's James Blake or something or something Blake something something James or Blake I can't remember and I feel bad I James known. Blake is an artist no and he said. 
you know, they won because they have conditioned people to thinking they should get music for free. Yeah. And essentially, that is what ha- has happened. You know, as long as you are paying a subscription, whether it be through Amazon, you know, Spotify, Tidal, you know, whatever comes out on Friday, you get it all. There's no sitting in and and at, it, at least with iTunes at one point or even through uh, Amazon had an apparatus where I would buy the MP3s of a song. It would save me a step from, you know, buying the CD and then ripping whatever it was to my phone. Now, none of the music even lives on my phone. It all lives in the cloud or on a streaming service. And that's an adjustment, for, you know, because think about somebody that said, oh, Rihanna's not. Why is she never come out with an album? Because last time Rihanna put out an album, people went to the store and bought it. Oh, she stayed pregnant, too. So. Well, I mean, <laughs> true. Hey, true. You know, but that's 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 I think that's one of the things for a lot of artists. It's like, why am I going to rush and put out this music for free? I mean, I know it's not for free because there's a, you know, there's a equation with the streaming and this, that, and the third. But still, Riri, a billionaire too. That's true. She's got a, she's got enough going on. That was just someone that was I was using it as an example. But you know, like, okay, let's say another, uh, an older artist. Like, I don't know if Lionel Richie's (laughs) interested in putting out another album. I mean, he's a legacy artist. But like, can you imagine telling Lionel Richie, okay, you're gonna put out an album and no one's going to buy it? Oh, you got to tell that to Smokey, because Smokey going to hit you with them isms. <laughs> he going to hit you with what? The isms. isms. But, yeah. you know, just like any any artist, like it's... Orgasms. You, you know, we say. went to, you know, you're used to, okay, millions of people going out to buy, physically buy your album. And now you're telling me I'm going to put out an album and, you know, for every 1,500 people who stream a certain song, that counts as one sale. It, it's hard to sell that psychologically. To, to certain artists, you know, so I can see where this would mess with somebody like Schoolboy Q, who at one point has actually just think about it, I bought Kendrick's first three albums. The last one I didn't buy. Yeah, it's not like I, maybe it came out in the store somewhere and there's a physical. But yeah. like when it came out, I wanted to listen to it as soon as it hit at midnight and I didn't have to go to the store and get it. Yeah, You know, so there's a there's a different mentality. Some artists have never sold a record. They just have they they've signed in the streaming area. They've never sold a single solitary record and they're stars. And it doesn't make sense to somebody who who's was an artist 15, 20, maybe even 10 years ago. So, I mean, I can see where he's coming from where like this this, this can be confusing. I can see being angry at it, but you know, if you're an artist, you just got to you just got to do what you got to do. What you think about the last line, long where he said it's getting weird. Music needs music. Music needs effort. What do you think about that? To be honest, I don't really have a lot to say on this. I mean, he just said that he wanted to put something out his way, and he did. So I, he did. That's kind of the end to me. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, but to your guys' point, when I listened to it, it didn't seem like that because everything was super short. Everything was very cut off. I, I couldn't get into the flow of listening to it like a lot of other people could. Right when it was like picking up, it was like it stopped and then it would mm-hmm. jump into something else. And I listened to it just on regular YouTube with, with ads. So yeah. an ad would literally jump on and start every minute and a half. So it was just kind of like, it was annoying. It was, to it was be kind honest. of jarring. To even try yeah, to was, to I, I couldn't even like really listen to it. So, I, but from what I liked, I, I, you know, from what I heard, I liked. So I think when it comes down to it from, from an artist's perspective, if he's doing what he wants to be doing, cool. Yeah. I think that's the way it should be. You know what I mean? But what was the last, what was the last line again? Well, he said, uh, because he spoke about the circus, the music industry being a circus in the algorithm era. But he said, it's getting weird out here. I'm paraphrasing, but he says it's getting weird out here. Music needs music. Music needs effort. What does music needs music mean? I guess you can take it however you want to take it. M- music, because to me, it's this is all based off. Maybe he's probably speaking on the musicality of yes. everything that's coming out. Kind of like, remember the, the whole um, the argument that Sookie had with... The streamer chick mm-hmm. when she caught her a musician. A magician. Yeah. I, I ain't no magician. I ain't no musician. Is that right. another? Yeah. I don't think a lot of a lot of these people don't see themselves as musicians because they're not musicians at the end of the day. True. But they are putting out music. I think that's probably what he's he's speaking on. That music needs to get back to the feel of when you hear something is music. Music needs effort. I and that I can agree with. I think that's that would be awesome. I mean, I, I, it's never going back, though. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> no. too far gone. Yeah, I think well, it's too I far mean, gone. maybe from like the I, I think it's too far gone in the sense that there will always be the outliers. Shout mm. out to Drake. You know, but but in general, at the same time, it's not like music was, has, has stopped. You know, it's just no, it has. not It's just been a competition with the well, algorithm. Let me take so. that. Let me take that back, because the too far gone could be so far gone. 
Drake. Shout out to Drake. Uh, <laughs> that could be looked at on the mainstream, where you could say mainstream is it's out of there. But there's still plenty of artists that are putting forth what we would call quote unquote effort and making dope absolutely music. So that's not going to go away. Main, but the mainstream has been gone for decades. In it my has been gone. I mean, so it's just, it's just a different way to commercialize. Uh, you know, something that happens to be musical. You know, if if gotcha. if the music industry could could uh, sign plants, yeah. you know, and plants could talk, they would do that. It doesn't matter. Don't give anybody any ideas. I know. I know I'm right? just saying, but like, AI will have it uh, up next week. But I'm just saying, like, it the music. I don't. I don't really look at this from a music industry lens in that aspect. But 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 I can feel what he's saying. You know, like, and I, I agree with him. So I don't want to make it seem like I'm like disagreeing with him. But he's just. He's just saying what I agree with. So, I mean, he's part of TDE, though. Um, historically, they don't really put out half-ass projects, true, right? So to speak, and th- that's with every artist that comes out, whether you like them or not. There always seems to be some effort put into their release, higher quality. Yeah, whether that yeah. be J Rock, whether it be uh, Schoolboy Q, SZA, yep. uh, Abso, Abso. Oh, I know a lot of people don't get Abso, but his his albums have substance, true, and there's structure to it, sir. Yeah, sir. sir. Definitely, I think he got something dropping on the twenty second of this month. Mm. Yeah, shout out to them, man. Shout out, Schoolboy. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it, it, if I'm going to be truthfully honest with this, it, I couldn't get into the flow of the music, man. I know I already said that, but I couldn't get into the flow of it because it just wasn't long enough. It was just like a bunch of snippets to me. And, I can uh, I can dig that angle because. Uh, a couple of the songs that I was really digging and went off and then moved on to the next song. I mean, I still dug the next song too, but I was still kind of wanting yeah. more. Yeah, I liked everything yeah. that I heard really, but it was just like, it just sounded just like more. It, it was just a snippet. Like it was, it was like a minute and a half, two minutes of a song that you could have, that could have been a four minute song. You know, that could have been a really rich musical experience for somebody and it was just kind of like it just stopped and got cut off. But I'm uh, looking at the official track list here, 18 records. And I'm, I see to Lone's point, I see some of the times like the last record is a minute and 12. There's one that's a minute and 54 couple that are, there's multiple under three minutes, 238, 257, 220. So, but also to your like, point, but also I like all of saying. his records too late. They, they, it's not like they were jumping into it. It was like they were building up. So like the record wouldn't start for a while. Right. So it just felt like it was even shorter. So I don't know. I, that's just that's just my perspective, man. I still yeah. liked it. So Yeah, I can dig that. That would probably be my only qualm though. Because yeah. uh, me too. I felt the vibe of it. Yeah. It was solid. Yeah. Um I was happy to get some from him. There's a Gibbs and, feature on there. Yeah. Where he took a shot at academics. That was yeah, funny. Yeah, he did. He did. There's always room for it that. Sounded like an alchemist beat on there too. I could be wrong, but I gotta go through the credits. I'm they, actually looking at them now, and uh, Alchemist is on here. Yeah, I heard the Alchemist joint. At least one of them. Yeah, and like you said, man, TDE got a high high standard, we'll say. High power. Yeah, they they, they usually drop good products. So. Shout out to him, man. If that's how you feel. You know, what's, and what album is it? I need to see. Like fifth? Fifth, fifth or fifth sixth? Or sixth. sixth, I think. Setbacks. Yeah, this is number six. Cause Setbacks was 2011. To Jay Moore's point about buying stuff on CD, he's been around for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen like the Blank Face uh, tour live. 2016 is when that came yeah. out. And then Crash Talk 2019. And I'd now, say Crash Talk might be the only one that wasn't that great. Yeah. Everything else was fire. No, the boy got heat. So shout out to him. 